welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, we've got all the animals here today, uh, but first I wanted to show you, I had some comments about knitting and things. Um, this is a poncho that I knit from a kit over the winter. I have pictures at the end of me wearing it. Um, yeah, so I put this together when I was home convalescing with my shoulder I started this my niece Sarah bought it for me a few years ago for Christmas and I wanted to get it done and I did and speaking of Sarah Luna's here come here Luna we'll see if she'll come and be on video come here well come here oh oh this is Luna it's my niece Sarah's dog we're top licking me we're dog sitting today while houseworking and cooking and crafting, right girl? So she's here hanging out with her besties, the cats. Go see your friend, oh, don't go that way. She and, ooh, she and Alex have a love-hate relationship. They love each other, but boy, they get on each other's nerves, so. But they've been doing fine today. Most of this is fall crafting stuff, but I have some other items and for my drink today and my Cowboys, we're just gonna call it my Zeke Elliott cup from the Buckeyes. I have iced tea Delish Okay, let's start with some not fall items first. I found the Secret body wipes 15. This is calming birch and this is cool water lily there's 15 in each so that's 30. look at that quick math um what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna try them out see how they work but i think these would be great for travel um in a few months i'll be well 11 months i'll be going to ireland and it's a long flight and i think these would be perfect so i might go buy some more for my family what i like about them in travel is that they come individually packaged so I could put a couple in my sorry something in my eye in my carry-on bag and then freshen up in the bathroom before because when we get to Ireland in the morning we won't get to our hotel until later be able to check in and like freshen up we'll have flown all night um, traveled I guess so anyway I think these would be great to have on the go so I grabbed those um, in the hardware section, they had all these little doodahs. What this is, is, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. That right here, you attach that to the back of something, and then you have this free loop to hang it. So it's almost like, it's like a picture hanger, but a little more sturdy. And it comes with the screws. So for heavier wooden items, I thought this would be perfect. You can do one on either side and then hang a wire between the two and hang it that way as well. And this comes with eight. And I thought that was a great deal for a dollar. If you see them, I'm always hanging stuff up. I grabbed another Trident gum because they're a dollar. I found, what did I found? Oh, I got a sewing kit. We're gonna open this together. I don't know if I've ever seen one this size there before. Um, but I do like to have a sewing kit on hand. So it's in its own little hard case that opens up and it has some little tiny scissors i'm not sure what they'll cut but we'll see a little paper tape measure so if you have to measure where you're going to put something oh some little tiny safety pins and buttons and straight pins oh, that's great um a bunch of little threads oh wow look at all those needles and a needle Ooh that is a lot of needles sewing needles that's great and a threader and even a little thimble that's a nice little kit again i say travel because these are the things that i like to have in my carry-on bag for incidental stuff but this takes up no room at all in a bag in your car in a kit we were on vacation um in Florida a couple weeks ago and my cousin he lost his button on his pants and if I had that I'd be able to fix it and I like that it's so self-contained and there's all the little things you would need so that's perfect I picked up 
some of this. I don't haven't tried it yet. It's RVO Lip Revolution Tropical Coconut Lim Lip Balm with vitamin E and aloe. I tend to get chapped lips. Um, pretty easy. And football season is coming up. And I do work at the home football games for OSU. So something like this in my pocket is perfect because I'm out in the elements. Our stadium is not indoors. It's a, you know, so this is perfect for my lips. Uh, they, I'm so happy they brought these back out. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see what it is. It's a silicone scrubby and these are all like little fingers. Um, yes, it's great for dishes. It's also perfect for makeup brushes to get in there and paint brushes is what I use them for. I have one in my craft room bathroom and I use it to get this, the paint really good out of my brushes. So I put a little soap on it and rub it. And I saw another one I thought I would throw it in there, but these are also great for makeup brushes, dishes and paint brushes. Um, this could be considered a holiday something something for the cats. I don't know if it's gonna fit the cats. It's probably not gonna fit the cat, but I can sew it down. Sorry, there's little tabby. OMG, that might fit on these fat boys of mine. I may have to put a little extra piece of Velcro. I don't want it tight either, but oh, isn't that adorable for Christmas? So I got one for each of the boys. And Luna Dog has a little harness dress that matches this. So they have to match for Christmas. So I grabbed two of those for the cats while I saw them. And honestly, I only saw one at one store and one at another in that print. I think the rest of this stuff, yep, is fall and crafty items. So I'm super excited. I found the Buffalo check. Now they had it in the hand size ones too, but I prefer these. The hand ones are a little bulky for me. I grabbed two because I think I want to make a hanging towel for my kitchen. And I'll just get a black dish towel and stitch it on. So I grabbed two while I saw them and they come in two packs. So there's four here. Another thing you can do if you're a sewer and travel, you can sew two of these together and use it for your flat iron or fold one in half and stitch it. And then you can stick your hot flat iron in it. In these to keep it from like melting your shoes and whatnot. I picked up one more of these for me because I just love it. Look at the green. I just love this. And the sunflower, I am a huge green lover. So I grabbed one of these buckets for me. It's pretty decent size too. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I grabbed two of these, one for home, one for work. And these are the ones, I'm not even gonna recraft this one. It says, gather with grateful hearts. And I told for work, I'm gonna put one on my desk and one on my mantle. So I grabbed two of those. Again, one at one store, one at another. Have, having a hard time finding multiples of anything at one specific store. Oh, I picked up a bale of hay. Um, let me see if I can reach it. Oh, oh, oh. My shoulder is sore today. I did a lot of housework yesterday. I got this at the Target Dollar Spot on clearance for $2.50. And it was with the summer stuff. But look what fits in here. I need to get one more. These little bales of hay fit in here. And get one more. And then you can see the hay through here. And then I'm going to fill the top with pumpkins. And this is going to go on my mantle. For fall... Um, I could also just put two in there and then fill the middle with like pumpkins up and over. We'll see. But I grabbed, so far I have three bales of hay and they're going to go in this. This is not from the Dollar Tree. This was from Target last season. But I love it and I thought that looked very fall-like. Um, I bought the matching tray. Now I will tell you it's pretty chintzy. I don't think I'm using this for food, although I think you can. It just says not recommended for use in microwave and dishwasher. So I think it's food grade. But I think what I will do is put it on my dining room table and put some pumpkins on it and just have it as like a center display on my table. Um, we'll see. A coffee station will look really cute on that um, if you have like the room for it. I just love the retro feel of the whole shebang. 
So I grabbed that. I have the matching napkins for the holidays. I want to find the plates too, but we'll see. So I got that um, for crafting because I'm doing a lot of painting. I just picked up a eight pack of the foam brushes. They're not the best quality, but they're fine. You know what I mean? They're great to do what we're doing and then throw them away. I don't usually wash them up and clean them. Um, for, for Halloween, I did pick up a house and I want to paint it and I'm going to put some feet on it. And so it will sit and put some candle behind it. And I'm going to paint it like black, I think. Just for Halloween, like a nice little silhouette. But I definitely am going to put some blocks on the back so it stands up. Oh, I thought that was fun. They have, if they have other ones, I look. I didn't see any other house shaped. Um, but I like the house shaped one. Then I found, this is going to, oh, wait, one last thing. I picked up the hat stickers that are wood. These are wood. Um, they're chipboard and they are, some are orange with glitter, some are black, and then two of them are natural. I just thought these would be fun. These would be fun to decorate candles and things as well. I'm sure we'll have a hundred million different things we can do with those by the time Halloween gets here. Now, I picked up some bows and all this is for one item. I picked up these two bows. I like them I think they're fun and they're nice and colorful and they're gonna match exactly the colors I'm using and they're nice and um, seasonal too for outdoors one is going to go outdoors and one is gonna go indoors and then I got some of this garland I got two strings of it it's kind of chintzy but I'm gonna wrap it around the wreath together and that way I feel like it'll give it a little more fullness so I grabbed two of those of just this is just garland and okay I'm sorry that is not for this project I've got a bunch of greenery see how what I'm saying these bows color wise go well with that so I grabbed two of these long in the burnt orange I have two picks of I think these are mums yeah of the mums and then one of this pick and let me show you what these are going to go on. You are going to die. I have not seen these. I'm pretty sure this is a new item. I've never seen this before. And I will tell you, I have one, two, three, four, eight Dollar Trees I can go to. And I've seen these at exactly one. It is a pumpkin form. It's 3D. Now, I'm assuming this is designed for that deco mesh, but I'm kind of over the deco mesh. What I'm going to do is paint this like a copper and then we're going to decorate it with these flowers and that bow um, the other idea I had I did purchase four because my niece definitely needs to have some too I'm not sure I'm, I'm kind of torn between making it a wall hanging or making it something that could stand on its own you know what I'm saying like somehow attack wire these together and um, put some feet on it and let it sit so that's kind of an option that I was thinking about and still decorating it with um, the flowers or I'm just gonna make it a wall hanging like that and decorate it and just let these speak for themselves it's huge no, right crazy all right oh nope I have one more thing and this is not crafting um, I picked up the teal pumpkin before so I did grab the others that match this style as a vignette type thing I'm not sure which ones will go where but these definitely there's four of them and they definitely would all go oops, all go together I don't think I would put these with anything specifically separated and then I have the teal one so I thought these are beautiful just by themselves I love the pearl and these might end up in my bedroom I think and this green is so pretty and this orange I just love these three colors together and I think these will look really nice on my dresser so that is it for my haul this week I will have a DIY coming up for you hopefully tomorrow You'll see this video on Tuesday, and then I'm hoping on Wednesday I will have that DIY out. 
If you have any questions, comment below, or you can email me. My email address is below, and I will respond to those. Um, I'm trying to mail out those cardleys this weekend. I've been a little sidetracked. I'll get those mailed out to you. And I hope you have a great one, and I will talk to you later. Bye!